All right. Well, welcome to uh, Kicking It oh, with KG, hold on, hold on. the I first cough. ever okay, podcast. Nah, 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 I cough. Okay. Start from the top. No. <coughs> we'll keep it. Anyways, whoa, we whoa, have whoa, Braden. No. Uh-uh, These are not uh-uh. edited. Uh-uh. No, we got to keep it. These no. ain't edited. No, we got to restart. No. No, we're good. <laughs> See, all the viewers left. I fell out of the wind. All right, KG. Hit it with your best intro. All right. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Kicking It with KG, with your host, KG, and... Uh, Braden Price. Yeah, we're here with Braden Price. We got our first ever guest, Braden Price. Woo-hoo! Uh, episode number five. Anyways, we have me, we have Ethan, and we have Braden Price. We actually have our first live audience. We have Christian over there, and Abram right there, but you can't see them, so you just they're, have to imagine uh, it. behind the scenes. Yeah, so we're in Kentucky. They're awful spiffy over there. Huh? They're, they look spiffy over there. The cameras will, the fans will never know. They're over there. Anyways, you came here. I guess tell them why you came here. Because this wasn't planned at all. Well, so I started actually looking at foilers on Facebook Market. And I noticed all of them were selling for about a grand cheaper in Kentucky. So I was like, okay, I'm going to call KG. I know he's got one. And now, you know. I yeah, he called me up. He wanted to buy the four-wheeler. I pretty much sold him the four-wheeler. And now he's here. Now we're just going to make a couple videos and do a podcast for you guys. So. Getting the collab in. Yeah. Hey, he's, which camera should I look at? You can, um, that one is technically My camera? Yours. Yeah. Sweet. The Lorex? Lumix. Lumix? Okay. <laughs> it's a Panasonic. It's it's a simple camera, so I can operate it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Those <laughs> mirrorless cameras. We don't know what that means. <laughs> it works. Anyways, we, since the last podcast they seen, we actually have new chairs for you two. I'm still in the wheelchair. Why, why am I the only one with a... Also, for the same reason, I'm in a wheelchair, Amazon, and budget cuts. Really? Yeah. If Amazon wanted to ship same day, which is like not really expected of them, but we have two, order, we have two more of those ordered, but we figured we'd give you one since you are the guest. Feel, and we gave you the good special. chair. You should be. If you nice. want to if you want to feel special, you can feel special. Oh, great. So anyways, what time did you leave this morning? So I and left how this, was the ride? Because the ride the ride here was actually pretty interesting. I left this morning at wait, we left at eight AM. Me and Christian left at eight AM. We we're supposed to leave at seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ride was quite pleasant up until about one o'clock when I noticed the GPS was put in there like two hours later than what it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. Roadblock. Mountain Road shut down, 18 wheeler in the ditch. And, Did you uh, see it? Yeah. I Did you take it. a picture of it? No. Did you vlog it? No. Why didn't you help him? Because we were like already been waiting for two hours. I was ready to leave. <laughs> Some people's got wow. places to be. I. That's what I'm saying. You know, people started walking up asking questions, and so I figured I was 18 wheeler, and people kept walking up, and I'm like, dude, I'm too impatient. I gotta go. Yeah, they're fine. You gotta get your 300 four tracks, man. Dude, I was it's one of a kind. I had to. Get here. Once you got here, what'd you think about it? It was all right. Really? It looked better in pictures. Yeah. I think SC1 and a wash. I think if you just wash it'll it, it'll be good. better. It'll look so much better after I get home and hit with that spray paint. Yeah. Spray you know? paint? What are you yeah. going to spray paint? Lower control arms. A little. The rack? The powder coat kind of coming off. Yeah, yeah, no, you can make that thing look brand new if you wanted. Right. But I'm a, I'm a wreck it. And it's not going to look like the same foiler. We won't, we won't discuss your plans of it. He's going to soup it's, it up. Get yeah, sure. it's going to be real nice. You guys should uh, go over and watch that video because it's going to be destroyed. Is it out yet? Probably not. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. When is the podcast going live? Probably the same week that you, all of our other videos goes. So it should be live. You're going to kill it already? No, it's not going to die. I'm you're, just gonna... you're talking about them watching the video. Oh, yeah. We're going to like hammer down on it. Anyways, well. Guys, I'm just going to go ahead and say, grab your popcorn. Gonna yeah, be we're going to be here a while, It's a, while, a long talk. Get to know us. Yeah. Hang out. Hopefully the podcast you can have a you you can come down hang out with us for a little while get to see what Braden Price is like unedited because hey, you got some questions for me right yeah I got some questions they're just Ooh, loose questions we though. got a bunch of questions have ask you, you have you ever been on a podcast yes you have the Giggin Squadcast oh wow. I don't think they posted it <laughs> you know it was so <laughs> funny because they come and we all sit down and whatnot and you know like uh. Flair wants to get some like drama going, or yeah. I don't want to call out Flair. Some I was some I can't remember exactly, but so the whole group was like, okay, let's get some drama going, and so we start. <laughs> so they start asking me about who was it? one rod, one real fishing, and so I was like, oh, y'all want drama? So I just started like kind of like throwing some shade. Never posted it. I was like, dang, 
did it go good? From what I you thought, it went good. The first podcast was there. The second one, we we're like, okay, let's get you some did drama too? going. Yeah, when they wanted to get some drama going, they didn't like, post either one. Like, yeah, that, huh? I don't think so. I couldn't find it. I mean, this is what it is. You this think is... if that you was in it, they'd maybe put you in the title. So you should be able to find it. Yeah, you should be. Able I don't to find know. Should have. But then again, I don't watch it. all their podcasts. That's pretty sad. I know, what? Right? I don't, I don't nah, it's seen okay. That. It was pretty funny. They could have had audio issues. You never know. Yeah. They could have had audio issues. We may have audio issues. You may and never the, see this. All the funny thing is, is they we started some beef or started throwing shade at one rod, one reel, and I didn't know it, but they were bringing him back to the Guggen Squad literally a month later. And so when I seen he joined, I was like, oh, sh-. I was like, you're kidding me. Do you? Here's a question. This is I have a question on here, but I just have a question. Since we're talking about YouTube and stuff, yeah. who do you watch on YouTube? Or do you even watch YouTube? So I look up to Flair a lot when it comes to like how he does his stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, staying relevant, constantly posting. Like there's a lot of things if I was him I'd change. Mm-hmm. But hit I'm looking at what works for him and looks at I look at why it works for him. Yeah. And you know, he's always killing it. Mm-hmm. He's always killing He's always killing it. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll, watch, I'll look at other YouTube channels that are, you know, are dying. Like mine. That's, I'm a prime <laughs> and example. And I'll be like, okay, what, out, are they, what are they doing wrong? I'm not calling y'all well, out. Well, now that I call a question, now that you called me out. No, I'm not calling y'all out. What? You called us Why? Out. No, I'm not. Your channel's not dead. No, you're still pulling it's in 100K dying. views of video. It's not dead. It's dying. As yeah. long as you're pulling in 100K of video. Now that you like, called us out. Can you please tell me the reasons I why my channel's dying? I don't I know, dude. I can't figure it out. You said you only post twice a week, right? Yeah. Maybe the fans want more. I've tried. I went. I went week. I went daily for like a week, and uh, they went it. down. Really? Yeah. But now, <laughs> that if you do sad. five videos a week versus two, your your ideas can't be as good or quality or anything. Yeah, no. Trust me, I know. We yeah. post every yeah. other day, and like coming up with video ideas is like, oh my gosh, and then yeah. you get repetitive, and it's like we need something new, and then we buy another three hundred. So how Can do you? Am. F- can't have me you, what you talked about repetitive i've seen a few i've heard you talk about your content being repetitive well i mean i feel like everybody's content's repetitive to yeah. a certain degree because i mean how often can you change up your pace here's if the you thing. find something that works you gotta kind of stick with it yeah but then you kind of want to fizzle in and out of it to keep I, it good i like Braden's videos as far as that goes like they, they they are repetitive but he always finds like some kind of way to switch something up. I mean, it's always going to involve a four wheeler. Don't get me wrong, but oh, four wheelers kill it. Yeah, yeah, but like it's always different. We you got to try to keep it different. Yeah, I mean it's cool, but yeah, I wish we could do that. <laughs> we don't have much stuff to do here in Kentucky. Dude, when was the last time you minnow trapped? Bro, About a week that ago. Used, that the used one to we be named after you. Really? That used to be big on your channel, dude. It used to be. Maybe I should just go back and do that. Maybe you gotta find. What do you bussy. think? Give me some. Give me a YouTube channel therapy. Because for you guys who don't know and are only watching for Braden Price, my name is Kendall Gray, and I have a dying YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke, bro. It's, it's, it's not, not dead yet. Dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the end of the world. If my channel dies, that's okay. I'll become a cow farmer, and that's awesome. Me and Christian have talked about this. We're going to start a landscaping business. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Christian? Dude, I'd, I like landscaping would be it. Is that That's what you'd do. Take the money out of your bank, start a whole business in a day. There's a good Go question. If YouTube goes down, what are you doing? You're doing that. As for me, it's a legitimate question, and I need to be making the plan because it's, it's imminent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be finding the land. I need to be putting up the fence because it's come, it may come sooner than we think. You'll be eating goats and drinking goat milk, <laughs> dude. Okay, but what if YouTube doesn't die? My dream right oh, now. Not, no, YouTube's okay. not dying. My YouTube's dying. <laughs> what would you want to do for the rest of your life? Probably YouTube and stuff. Really? Yeah. See, would I you, think would you not? A little bit, not full time how I am now. Like no. we nine to five, six seven days a week. I don't want to do that my entire life. All right. What'd you say right there? We nine to five, six seven days a week. Nine to five. That's a lot. So are we. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get into rental properties. That's my thing. That would be really interesting. Cash flow, baby. I, I, I like the idea. I don't like it around here. <laughs> yeah, not around here, dude. You, you can, he's been here for a day. He can understand why rental properties here may not be the best I've idea. I've seen some stuff. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we have nice schools here. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
It's rough. It's a rough place. Rental properties, maybe not the best thing. Why are you not talking here, no. down on our little community? That is absolutely because it's garbage. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. I boy. do. Li- I like this place, Charlotte now. boy. Yeah, you, Charlotte sorry. boy. <laughs> Carolina boy. No, like this land, like where you're at, is like perfect. Yeah, my I love it. Place is good. But like, you go to town and like the abandoned school and stuff. It's like okay. We took him to the abandoned school. If y'all are from around here, which you're most likely not, you know the abandoned school. He went in it. I don't know what his deal was there. It was sketchy. I was very strict. I was very like, I don't know. I was very consistent with saying I'm not going in the school, and I was not going in the school. And now they realize why I didn't want to go in the school. We could have died. You about did. You yep. saw a dude in there. What, Something like it. That wasn't a dude. That was straight up. Slender Man? No, Slender it, man. no it wasn't Slender Man. That was probably like, you know, like they talk about the wolf man around here. It's probably him. Either <laughs> that. It was either that. That. What if we would have found a, a dead ghost. body? I'd have probably poked it with a stick, to be honest. I would have thought it was one of these meth heads overdosed. 100%. You would be 100% correct on that one. <laughs> Back to YouTube, though. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about YouTube? Because you've been on it for a Ooh, while. Wow. You know a lot about it. I never thought about it's that It's changed question. a lot, too. My least favorite. Yeah, and most favorite and thing most about favorite. YouTube. Dude, I don't know. That's a hard question. It is a hard question. It's a good question, though. I feel like it's got to be more specific. Because it's, like, so general. Just overall. Least favorite thing about YouTube. Some people could say that Dude. sometimes they can be too strict. Fake channels. Oh, yeah, very. The YouTube's very strict. Have uh, they gotten better for you with guns a lately? Bit. I they've got so. a lot better. I think they've gotten better. But fake channels, really, like, I hate it. What do you mean by that? Like five-minute crafts or what? People that just make completely what? fake content and just clickbait and fake the entire thing. Like, I understand. A Are lot, you calling every, me out again? No, I'm not. I'm okay. just I'm saying. Station. I'm saying, like, there's so many channels, uh, I don't want to call out names or nothing, but, like, they'll blow up in subscribers doing these fake videos, and then they die because they don't actually have content. They fake That's everything. That's the thing. I'm not talking about you, Kendall. <laughs> fake it till you make it, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then you lose it quick. I want to call out names, but a few people in the motocross community, or at least dirt bikes. Okay. Hey, we can't there's some drama on, on YouTube, Mac, no. though. Really? I don't want to talk about it. You have drama? You have drama? I don't have drama. I stay. I, I, I keep drama. my nose clean. I, I don't, don't care what anybody else is doing. I don't have anybody to have drama with. But if like, I could get drama, I would get it. Dude, you know how much drama is in the fishing community on YouTube? A Apparently oh, not. A lot. Really? Really. Like, what kind of fishing community? Okay. Like, maybe all the a bass little bit. fishermen, dude. And there's like, are you talking like there's two sides, in a way? Because I, I know... Don't know. I, just, like, I got a couple buddies in the bass fishing community, and I've heard some crazy stuff from them. You want to share it? Not really. You want to share a general over thing? Because I used to, I don't know, I don't, I'm not aware of much drama. Well, Everyone no one needs, talks to me. I'm a dying YouTuber. Everybody needs to stay in their lane and do what they do. That's pretty much all I do. I just stay in my holler. Everybody <laughs> needs Jesus. I just stay in my holler, go to church on Wednesdays and Sundays, and that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a pretty simple life. We some holler boys around here. That's pretty much it. He's a city boy. Charlotte. I am not. If you don't know about Charlotte. I'm not from Charlotte. I'm, I say Charlotte because I'm near Charlotte, like 45 minutes out. Uh, I'm That's from, still Charlotte. Well, there's a difference whenever you say I'm from Charlotte like you do, and we're like, I'm like, I'm from Kentucky. Our closest city that we could even think about is like two hours from us with a population over like 10,000. You know what? Our, there's like a hundred and... 95,000 in my county. How many we got? 20? 60. 60? In Knox wow. See, y'all got 60,000 people? Apparently. Really? Well, well it's I a, mean, it's a big... You don't see those 60,000. I mean, you got to think about... Yeah, I got, I'm in a big county, too. Uh, the city, no, the city I mean. in the county only has 3,000, but the county itself apparently has 60. That's because they're all spread out. Huh. And they're way back in the haulers like we are. That or they just like, we don't see them. Because they migrate to the schools that we like explored today. <laughs> Let's dive into another question. We may or may not be getting off track. What kind of questions do you want to answer? You, you know what you got. I asked you before. Here's a good question. Since we went to high school today, an old abandoned high school, what was your high school like? Like your high school experience? Oh, my high school experience? And Yo, it's so yeah. funny because being a YouTuber in high school. Yeah, was you like, a YouTuber so in I, high school? Let's just say I started YouTube in like eighth grade, middle school. Okay. This is when it really started taking off. So mm-hmm. like freshman year, 
you know, I stayed out. I've always been this way. I stay out of people's business. I don't care what other people do or what they say or what mm-hmm. they think. I just do what I do and do it how I see to do it. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because all the upperclassmen hated me. Really? Because I was doing good and I was being successful. And they absolutely hated me. And it's not like I'd go to school and like try to brag or nothing. You know, yeah. I went and did my stuff. All right. I went, went to sleep, and then came home and did my YouTube stuff. And uh, it's so weird, though. Like, if somebody sees you doing good, they want to cut you down. It's Ain't the that stupidest the truth. Thing. So it's crazy. You're, but all the underclassmen, they love me. But I hated them. They were so annoying. <laughs> so you kind of, whenever you, how big was you like freshman year on freshman YouTube? Freshman year, I yeah. would say like fifty to a hundred k. And that was definitely enough for them to not like it. Yeah, because that's a but lot. But it was like by junior year, I'm sitting at like seven hundred thousand. Yeah. So by the time you, go, whenever you was a junior, did the seniors not like you? Oh, when I was a junior, the seniors hated me. Well, well they... the seniors, they they tried to joke with me more so by bullying me, like joke bullying. But, dude, as soon as, like, they graduated, it was like, boom, they all want to be my friends. And we're all cool now. It's a good time, but. So, like, they didn't like you because you were successful. Yeah, no, dude. Swear. <laughs> I remember this one class. It was the, uh, the ag class, dude. Oh, ag was awesome. Oh, <laughs> those boys. It was always interesting, to say the least. Was they... Mean? I mean, you like know. Just, just being rough on you. Oh, yeah, like picking at me. You know that kind of crap. I don't know. I, was, I enjoyed high school, I though. I don't think I was the, ever picked on in high school. I, dude, I don't know. I, I was always, like, real... I wasn't real talkative, but, you know. I don't know. Did you... Would you go... Did you? So would you say that you liked high school? Oh, I had a great time in high school for high the days school, I went. Too. It was really fun. <laughs> Tell us about dude, that. Dude, senior year, I barely showed up. I was too busy doing YouTube. Wow. Dude, I missed I did a, I did my whole high school career was doing just enough to pass. I missed eighty two days my senior okay, year. Okay, yeah, that's more than I missed. I think I missed like three, maybe two my entire high school career. I like school. School was awesome. I like Did he really sleep. just say he missed only three days in high school? I'm pretty sure. And those three you best bet you best bet they were excused. Was you like What a saint. <laughs> was it because he was like sick or in my case i just like to sleep no i never slept dude if i went to school i was on time yeah school was awesome never. i really <laughs> liked it everybody i talked to didn't like school or i mean like didn't want to wouldn't go back for anything oh I want abram to would you go back to our school believe huh i really like school like, i don't i don't know why but like i kind of liked it oh no if youtube went down I would be a teacher that farms cows on the side. Really? That's exactly what I'd do. Really? What would yeah. you teach? Um, agriculture. Pre- preferably agriculture. So so pretty much like your or lifestyle science. would reflect on your teaching career. So That's a really smart way of saying it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd teach what I do. <laughs> I think being an ag, t- ag teacher, that's a very competitive job around here. Cause oh, there's, yeah. There's only bet. one. Dude, and it's there's only a job opening once every thirty years. That's true, dude. If YouTube goes down, it means I lose my job too. We can, um, we can. I don't know. You can be a sub. I would be a sub. You, you can be, wear a lot of KG you merchandise. You can fulfill your grandpa Bobby's tradition, dude. Uh, I don't know about that. Like that man can outwork me and run laps around me, or probably anyone in this room at farming. Your like grandpa? we we have nothing on that old dude. <laughs> like I mean, we don't even compare ourselves. But like I'd say, I'd say, I'd say if it, if like I lost my job here, I'd be a cop. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Maybe you would actually like clean up the crackheads around uh, the abandoned school. <laughs> I ain't going around them. <laughs> That's too risky, man. That's too risky. <laughs> Back to high school. But, all right, so the kids, some of the kids gave you a hard time. Did the teachers ever give you a hard time? Oh, I had a, what was his name? One of the guys in the office. He always, he always gave me a hard time. Was the guy in the office, was it a guy secretary? No. I can't remember what he did. Like vice principal or something? No, it wasn't. He might have been vice principal. We all have those. What did he do? He 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 would always be like, well, you know, this ain't going to last forever. Did you have a lot of people that told you that? I mean, I had one teacher, bro. Oh, dude. 
Tell Mr. Us. Long. Okay. Good story. Good story. Here, now, now we're getting into spilling it. Spilling tea about our teachers. Oh, yeah. So, this was either like the vice principal or someone like high up in the school. Yeah. Her son came and was working some of the classes. And he wasn't really a substitute. He had a he he controlled all the online classes, so we'd go in there, do our online classes, yada yada yada. Bro, he like I mean, he was a decent teacher. I mean, he didn't teach nothing. He just watched over us. But no, he told me that I was going to be the kid or the guy holding the stop sign at a construction site. Those dudes make bank around here. Like that's a really? competitive. Oh yeah, like <laughs> like the, that's a good job, dude. Here, that's a good job. But the story gets better. Okay. So this dude, he was always like telling me that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Well, it turns out he was sleeping with a student, and this guy's like 27, and this girl was like 17. Fired. Never seen him again. Now he's the guy holding the stop sign. Mic drop. Got him. Dude, could you imagine being it. that guy? He's probably watching this. What's up, Long? Old BP over here just uh, cackling jokes at you, man. Oh, dude, I love it. I really thought about hitting him up on Instagram and be like, who's holding the stop sign now? Heard you wasn't. Huh? Heard you wasn't. Yeah, I'm not. Was there any teachers that were really supportive or that you really liked? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of teachers I like. I got along with basically everybody. My principal wore a KG lanyard. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. It was pretty. I like high school. I didn't have any problems with it. My principal wore, like, Skin tight Superman shirts. <laughs> was he a cool principal? No. <laughs> I, like the guy. Wait, 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 wait. You know who you remind me of? Me? Yeah. Don't say Brock Lesnar. Christian. <laughs> who's the guy? Who's the kid that went on? Uh, this is my first time being on live television. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. That's who you remind me of. Hey, who give Justin Bieber the mock? Apparently. <laughs> I've never been on live television before. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the red hair. Oh, just, he don't even Boy, have, I red don't have red hair. He just has a sunburnt oh, face. Can we pull yeah. up that kid's face like right now? Me? Yeah. No, we we don't have a budget, budget for a TV. No, budget cut. <laughs> They'll know who we're talking about. Oh, 100%. Apparently. Easy, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Around here, when we're not doing work or whatever... We kind of just do hunting and fishing, because you saw there's nothing to really do here. Yeah. What do that. you do? Oh, dude, I can do anything. Like, my area, we can go bowling, we can go play top golf. That's we can crazy. Yada, yada, yada. I mean, Charlotte's got everything. It's only 30, 40 minutes out. Wow. Um, go to the beach for the day, go to the mountains for the day. I mean, it's endless. That's pretty That's cool. That well, is, I, I mean, envy that. Yeah, we should move. I, I can't no. leave a little town, dude. Can't I would Kendall, miss- We have benefits here. There's some major benefits to living here. Free needles? I mean, <laughs> everything's like cheaper around here, you know? Like, just Dude, like- the food was 30 That was exactly. cheap. That was some good food, too. Yeah. And that was $30 for four people. I'd get a house here. That's right. a little I won't steep move here. a lot of the times. $30 for four people. That's a lot. That's, that's unbelievable. That's like cheap to me. I got to feed Christian Miller every day of the week. <laughs> just bring them here. That's what I'm saying. Every day. Every day. So you can be with me and KG and be our moral support. We can help you too. I mean, really? it's a win-win. Really? Maybe my channel won't go ahead and yeah. die. We can see it. Just go from that plummet. Just start easy. To the rise. Right, right. If you could live anywhere, would you stay in Charlotte? Like anywhere. So recently I've been really wanting to get out of my area. Mainly because yeah. since I, when I was a kid, I mean, this area was perfect. You know. Your area? Yeah. Okay. 10, Move 15, to Kentucky. 10, 15 minutes from Walmart. Uh, my town has every place possible to eat. You got Charlotte that was 30 minutes away. I mean, it was just the perfect place. But then so many people started moving in. Traffic's getting bad. It's like, I kind of want to jump out. Like You will never have problems like that here. We have what? a declining population. It's awesome. <laughs> so what's that's the not reason a, that's not good so what's the reason why everybody's coming in it's because it's such a great spot the school system's great school. the uh i mean it's, it's you didn't awesome. even go to school <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean there's benefits living here but wait, wait where would Every you go got benefits. um i was thinking like just moving like 30 minutes further out oh. into the country <laughs> If I had to, like, I don't know, dude. I'd like to maybe one day have a farm in, like, Illinois. 
What about like, your, like Montana? That would be sweet. Okay. What about like your deer, like your deer camp? It's like forty minutes from my house. It's but, too. It's too out in the boondocks for me. Really? So like it's too Dude, far. That county couldn't even sus, 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 words sustain. <laughs> yes, that one. A Walmart. So it's like they, here they put in a brand new Walmart, and within four years it was getting shoplifted so much that oh, they yeah. had to shut it down. That happens here. But At least like, y'all Walmart's open. Only to like ten. Still open. They don't even have a Walmart. They got a Dollar General. We in don't the whole even county. have. A, oh, dude, don't even get talking about Dollar Generals. They are everywhere. <laughs> we have we have Dollar Generals everywhere. Yeah, we do too. They just all businesses know not to go into that county. It's a deadbeat county. They just need to plow the whole thing over and turn it into a big hayfield. <laughs> so just it's good pretty much for a deer club. Or is yeah, hot and land. That's about it. Okay, that place is beautiful. What I've seen on video though. Thanks. Just I got like the lease you, super cheap. We've had dad had it for. What, what do you, you mean say? by the key? <laughs> huh? What do you mean by the key? What key? You said, what'd you say? We've you... had the lease for like 30 years. Oh, the years. lease. Oh, okay. Uh, dad had it. Is it just you? Oh, yeah. Me and my dad. Wow. Dad had it for like 30 years and I've took it over. How many acres That's is it? Cool. 750. 750? Yeah. It That's used a to lot. be more, but we didn't use like the other half because it was kind of like a small block across the road. Yeah. So we got rid of it. Are y'all ever going to actually like buy it and own it instead of just like lease it? See, everyone always like. Like, oh, leasing's a waste of money. But when you got it for the price we got it at, it's Locked like, in. Is it locked in? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I mean, we're so cool. good with the owners. I mean, never yeah. missed a payment. Yeah, it's pretty good. 30 years of, you know, no trouble. Mm-hmm. We got it. Can't beat yeah. that. Don't cheat. I mean, the land itself is worth millions. So it's like... Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna buy it. <laughs> what do you think of Kentucky? I've been here three times now. Yeah. Um, what do you think about KFC? That's the first place we stopped. It was all right. I mean, it's just KFC. It's yeah. no different in Kentucky. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. It's that, not no more. A fancy. lot of people's probably wondering that. As in, a lot of people probably nobody. But it's not. It's better. All, It's not the same. It's not better. No. We didn't same, go to the first KFC. It's the same Kentucky. The same same KFC. Same chicken in China, ain't it? Yeah. All well, the same. All that big GMO chickens. As for the reason you're here, which is Honda, the Honda. Really? Why Why Honda 300? Oh, yeah. I don't know. That's a real... I wondered that, too. I wondered that. Like, out of all the things you could get, you want an old Honda 300? Like, are they that good? I don't know. I mean, I had one, and now I don't no more, and I'm not mad about it. Or Every, is- everybody loves the 300s. They're indestructible. They last a lifetime. They're getting hard to find. They're great mud machines. They're great for so many different uses. And everybody should own one. So I bought one. Is that Then I bought another one. And now this is my third one in like three weeks. I kind of got to stop because I was on Facebook Market earlier looking for more in Kentucky because they're kind of cheap here. Got to quit. So pretty much for the price that they sell at, you can't beat them. Is that pretty much what you're saying? No. They're kind of like, at least from where I'm at, where I'm at, they're probably stupid high. They're but not you're in Kentucky it. now. Yeah, but now they're priced right. Now I want to pick up about four. So we're like the we newer that happen. are the newer Honda 300s not nearly as good or what? They don't make them. Oh, they don't. Yeah, no. Why not? They stopped production. They went from the 300 to like the 350. Finally, they started making the 420, and they still make the four. They started making the 420 in what, like 2006, 2007. Yeah, it was 06 because they 06. just first started experimenting with like the same year I got mm-hmm. with the 350 and 420. But. Yep. So then that's they just kept with the 420. Now they got like the 250 recon, but it's, you know. The 420 is your big or your smallest four wheel drive. That that recon is about like driving a bicycle. Yeah, no power. So you would rather have an old 300 than a new 420, or for? No. So you'd rather have the newer one. IRS. I mean, awesome. I would rather have the old one. Really? But if I wanted a new one, I could just go buy a new one. These 300 are getting hard to find. So you're collecting them, just to collect? I need content, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I needed some YouTube content. It's three. It's I love them though. Like I seriously love them, but I'm gonna sell them sooner or later. Really? It's not like I can hold on to them. Yeah. I might hold on to the really clean one, but the other one's got to go. Here's a question a lot of people have. Yeah. You you are openly a uh, not fan of Polaris, and you're really big on Can Ams, and I I don't know. Where's this going? 
what the difference is. Polaris is junk. Is Polaris that actually is that bad? There's no way. I'll, I'll shake your hand on that one. I think it's just a... Is it like a Ford and Chevy type of thing? Yeah, no, Polaris is crap. Really? Uh, How, though? I don't know. They're side-by-sides. The... The... The reliability kind of, I, I don't want to say impressed me because they just aren't in next three, but the reliability is pretty all right. Now, if you get like a Polaris high lift or four wheeler, I mean, I can talk on and on and on about the things I don't like, but I mean, it's junk. The Polaris high lifters are crap. Absolutely junk. Which is a four wheeler? Yes. Oh. I don't know about the sportsman. I would have to assume they're junk also, but I might be buying one just to prove my theory right or wrong <laughs> so I can keep talking junk Those... without people getting butt hurt. Those, I mean, they're going to stay butt hurt, but... The sportsmans, they're like A-arms and everything about them. They're built like a graham cracker. <laughs> Dude, I mean, their bearings go bad left and right. Ball axles joints. break. Belts freaking going out. I mean, they're it's junk. I have a question. Actually, I mean, they're decent for farm use, but if you f- ride them hard like we do, they are they're don't they don't hold up. I have a fan question. Why do you act like Can-Ams are so good when you break one literally every time you drive it? Because they are so good. <laughs> I mean, I beat not, on a lot of four wheelers, and they are the money. I don't think that that's necessarily Can Am's problem as much as it is like the rider, because like you ride <laughs> anything like that, it's going to break. Oh yeah, hundred percent. If you ride something past its full capability, I mean, we beat on these four wheelers day in and day out. Stuff's going to break. I mean, we want stuff to break. That's kind of the whole point. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not breaking stuff, you're not riding hard. Yeah, that's so, yes, that's true. It's one of those things like, yeah, we might break some stuff on the K&M, but it's like, have you, did you see what happened to my Polaris? Did you? That thing was junk. I hated it. So. I love the X3. The X3 is bad. That thing was honestly terrible in the beginning until we figured out the clutching situation and then it's just spot on. How long have you had it? A long time. We've had it over a year. And how many, how many. This is a hard question, but how many videos do you think it's been in? A lot. Probably like 40, 50. That's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of videos. We do a lot more videos with the foilers, though. We want to go more into side-by-sides, but, you know, it's kind of something we want to slowly do. It's it's not something I'm, like, really into. It's fun when it's fun, but it's kind of crap when it's crap. So, up until what? Um, How many years ago? When was, like, the first side-by-side became popular or whatever? Because before then, there was just four-wheelers, right, pretty much? Probably the Rhino. Yeah, I mean, the work ones, but the first, like, play side-by-side, yeah. that was the uh, Razor 800, if I'm right. The really short ones, the ugly yeah, ones. Yeah, kind of oh, crap ones. Lord. Yeah. Do you and think then they that, came out with the 1000s. You think side-by-sides are going to take over? Utility, no. you don't? Utility and recreation and everything? No. You don't? Uh uh-uh. uh. Foilers are so much more funner for what we do. Really? Now, they'll take over the trail riding scene, but they're not going to take over the mudding. Really? Because oh, okay. so- people can buy these side by sides to ride around and drink beer and watch people do dumb stuff. We buy foilers to go do dumb stuff and have a good time. I think that side by sides will. Like, not in just the aspect of uh, trail riding, but like your friend made his street legal. I, I can see that being a big future thing. If I, mean, I could yeah. get mine street legal here, I would definitely do that. And I'd, you I'd, can. He doesn't I've got, need to be street legal. Yeah. There's no but, cops. Yeah. I haven't seen a cop since I got into Kentucky. <laughs> They're here. I promise. <laughs> As for hunting and stuff, you think a four-wheeler has any room for a hunting rig? Uh, four-wheelers, the only, uh, four-wheelers aren't going to die out. But people like four-wheelers for hunting because they can just put them in the bed of their truck and on the trailer. That's true. That's very true. Do they not make us? What's the smallest side by side that you can get? It's like a kid side by side, but it's not going to do you. What about good. the smallest adult? The one seater Polaris. It's not. Who it's none Polaris. of it's going to fit in the back of a truck. Hmm. The so mule. If you have to pull a trailer. The mule is pretty small. The mule. It's actually really small. It still won't fit in the back of the truck. The mule actually on their um, website claims that it will fit in the back of a truck. They're lying. What I if we so. did a build of the mule? And we can... Doesn't the mule have a built-in snorkel? Yes, it does, actually. Like, did believe you know it or not. I it, mean, it can't be very high. I mean, all stuff snorkel to goes, a certain level. It goes to the top of the headrest. The rails. Like the, yeah. you know, yeah. like the roll it's cage? It's got two intakes on That's the roll. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's good it's or not. It's 12 horsepower. <laughs> not going to do you much good. Hey, it'll do... Young, young Kendall Gray, a lot. We got the bottle. It's 
got new tires on it oh, too, yeah. so it can actually move. Really? Hey, yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, probably teaching with a bunch of cows. If everything, if momentum continues. Note taken. I'm avoid asking Kendall great questions about the future. Huh? 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 The future's along. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'll tell dude. you. I'll say this. That's the good side. The bad side. I'll be 25. I don't know if I'll make it that long. Really? Yeah. Why? Freak accident. No doubt. I'm falling off a bridge or something. I don't know what it'll be, but Am I'm I dying invited at, to your funeral. I'm dying at 23. That's. A, I don't see myself making it past that. That's why I'm doing a podcast to get all my experiences out there before I'm gone. I don't know. What Here's to a say. good question: If you could die one way, what would it be? In my sleep. Really? I wow. mean, how how else would you want to die? Oh, I'll tell you. I you want you want to watch? Shot. No, I want to be. I want to be like save the day type stuff. Like the Matrix. You ain't saving the day if you died. No, yeah. If someone else lives and I die, that's totally fine. Like, what if a school bus is on fire? I go in. Yeet kids out the door, but then I don't make it. Then I think that'd be the best way to die ever. Then you're a hero. Yeah, and you did something good with but your last dead. minutes. the The worst thing I'd want to do is die like just. KG really thought about this. Yeah, I think about this all the time. Like if I can get shot, and then like somebody behind me doesn't get shot, that's perfect. Or like you get shot but secretly have a bulletproof vest on. Now that's different because then you have to live knowing that you'll never die that way, unless it happens again. True. But, like, think the fear that it'll strike in the guy who shot you's eyes. Guys, I'm confused. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> in five years, I see myself being Braden Price. Really? Probably. Like, you change your name? No. That's about the only thing. Just change the name. No channel, nothing. It's just going to change the name. <laughs> hey, what's the name of this bear on the table? Uh, oh, he's actually oh. going to let you name it. He, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's looks a, like a Ralph. He's not a real bear. For those of you who may be concerned, he's not alive. He is a small bear. But honestly, here's the thing, though. Whenever you think about black bear, you're thinking like a giant animal, right? But in reality, like the average size black bear that someone would kill is probably about like this. Like an, about, an average black bear that gets killed is not massive. They're about five foot tall, 350 to 400 pounds max around here. That's around here. No, that's not even counting the ones that get actually killed. Right. A lot of them's young. Because they're stupid. I mean, because people... Yeah, let's name him Ralph, 100%. All right, we'll name him Ralph. I don't know how long he'll be here. Hopefully, well, I think I think Ralph should actually stay. Do you think Ralph should stay? He has Possibly. to. He was here in the beginning. He's got to go. Like, we set this Put up him on with... the wall. Oh, that'd, cool. that'd be nice. And, like, use him as a back... Like not, back strap, <laughs> yeah. Like don't even have a green screen. Just have a bear in the back. I really like this bear. We do need a new table though. Do you have any suggestions for shapes of tables? A U. That's or what I was thinking. Oval. That's what I was thinking. Bobby got, can make the camera that. needs to be able to see all of us. Yeah, we do need more cameras. I don't think this. I one's... think you need a better table. Yeah, we know that. More cameras. I think you got two cameras set up. I just think if we were like, yeah, it's you true. know, him here and you there and kind of like. You know. I, I can tell you what would help, but I don't know if we we obviously can't do it now. But if Ethan was actually over here, so that we had one camera looking at us three, and then one just looking at you, if that makes any sense. Ain't that kind of yeah, what, what that one's doing? Yeah. Everybody's clicking off the video right now. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> oh no, they've already they've been gone, dude. It's just the people who just want to hang out. Really? If they actually have something to do, you they're not here, man. They're here. They're just hanging out, having a good time. You want to get into some fan questions? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So I shared a thing on your on my Instagram story of just asking fan questions or whatever, what they'd ask you. I'm worried. Yeah, you maybe. You should be. Here's the, a lot of them we couldn't actually use, but here's Why's the ones that? that we could. They were just, you know. Inappropriate? Yeah. It's, it was very, very orgy. strange, actually. Orgy. Is orgy. KG your arch nemesis? Yes. Okay. No, I'm just like. What's your dream gun? That's actually a decent one. Dream gun? Yeah. Yeah, dream gun. Let's hear it, Braden. I don't really have one, dude. Really? I feel like I'd buy right. it. I'm too into guns. Right, but like, do you have your dream gun? No. I mean. What is I your dream know. gun? I don't know what my dream gun is. I never thought about that. I don't have time to think about this kind of stuff. 
What do you think about that one? Where the hell did that just <laughs> It's just in case. You never know. You've seen where we're living. Ah. Dude, yeah, it's... Crackville. I was saying... Me and Ethan was sitting here the other day. We was p- filming a podcast. We heard something downstairs. Who knows what it was? And then I was like, I don't have a gun up here. That's actually a big problem. So we got that one under the table just in case, you know, you act up or something comes in or, you know. Said if I act up? Well, you never know. This is uncut. They've never seen you like this before. That's a cool... Uh-oh. That that It's okay. That very quickly became one of my favorite guns because I made it look like the modern Modern Warfare 2 M4 with the grip and... um I think that's it. <laughs> the grip and the rail and maybe the mag... The metal mag makes it look so good. You should get some metal mags. They make them look so much better, in my opinion. I got some metal mags, but this one's actually very nice. Yeah. Like, I'm ready to your, play with guns tomorrow. Is yours rusted or something? No, it's got an ugly kind of like black finish. This is kind of like looks brand new. Dude, look Ethan bought that mags at some pawn shop. And he brought it in. I was like, dude, I, I, I have to have that mag. So then we traded for it, but... This is a pretty standard AR. It's a very standard AR, but I like it because it you can you can like it's just your standard AR that's ready to go. Nothing special, but nothing really is gonna break down. And if the holographic or red dot breaks, you have the backup irons. And then I had a random had a random red charger handle. Yeah. That didn't fit anything, so I put it on that and it, maybe it looks good. So what's your dream gun? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. Don't you really have, have a scar. Gun. Is I got a scar. I like collecting guns, but I don't like fantasize over guns, you know? Do you like this Glock 43? That's true. Yeah, that's pretty badass. You want to sell it? What it, about, it's hot. It's got one in it. What about your dream? What do you have dream, like, if you're not super, super into guns, what do you have a Dude, dream something? I will buy this off you today. <laughs> We're going to have a live sale That right is here. nice. Oh. It's kind of wore in, though. You got some holster rash, my yeah, guy. Yeah, I carry it. I got a Glock 43 and it's gold. But you uh, don't have an American flag one. Yeah, all the gold's peeling off. It's kind of junk. I know I hate that. Like, when you get a nice yeah, pistol right? and actually want to carry it, that's got to happen. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, your carry gun should, shouldn't should be gold. This is gold-plated. I mean, it's is like it, fake gold. Is it like the... Cerakoted. Is it... Oh, Cerakoted gold? Yeah. Okay. I don't know much about that, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. My carry gun is nothing because I can't necessarily carry yet. But it's going to be a 43. I've already got it picked out and everything. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I like it, though. See, the new, uh, what are they, CL, Ruger CLPs? I'm not sure. The Ruger CLP 3s. They bad. I've the little them. tiny ones. The 380? I would carry them everywhere because it's just throw in your pocket. My friend got one, and surprisingly, those have like a decent trigger yeah, they do. to be what they are. My dad's got two of and them. And they're already <laughs> like stippled from the factory. Yep. They're pretty nice. The how, old, how much the are old they? models have a crappy trigger, but the new models have a good trigger. Terrible, because it's like the double stage, yep. kind of like a lot of the SIGs, how it does that. It. It's just it. so heavy. Mm-hmm. How much are they new? 329 Really? Out the door. Are they only in 380 Yes. I know where one's Which at. Which is not a bad thing. 380 is I would good. buy one, but I'm not 21. Well, I'm getting there. North Carolina soon. pistol laws. Are you only allowed to buy one a month, or is that somewhere else? Uh, if you have your concealed carry, you can, uh, I think, buy as many as you want. Right. If you don't have your concealed carry, you got to apply for a pistol permit. Gosh. And if you're under 21, you have to buy it used, like a uh, private sale. Wow. Can or be gifted to you. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to ask. So, like, if your dad goes in and buys it and, like, just like here you go, you can carry this or keep it with you. Will they yeah. say anything? No, hundred percent. That's pretty good then. That's not awful. What about your rifle laws and shotgun? Pretty normal. Yeah, all well, your basic stuff. Yeah, that's good. It's not like I'm in California or nothing. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Next question from the fans: Do you got games on your phone? I got Onyx Hunt. You ever played Off Road Outlaws? Nah. I think I actually have. They got a when I was in high right? school, if I woke up from my nap, I'd play that. Same. I had a <laughs> teacher, Mr. Rogers, actually. He would actually play it with us. Really? What is that? Yep. Is that a phone game? Off-Road Outlaws? Heck yeah, it is. Like, you talk about a pastime. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite machine? Because you have a lot. Which one's your favorite? Defender. Very... Really? The most useful. It doesn't get shown off a lot the most, does no, it? No, but we use it, like, all That's the time. Crazy. If I had to sell everything, I'd probably just keep the Defender and put wow. it back on stock tires. 
because it's built for utility or whatever for yeah. hunting and stuff. It can still perform recreationally. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that thing's a beast. And yours is like what six seater? Yeah, I won't sell. It. I don't think if my YouTube channel were to die, I won't sell it. No, I'd probably keep crazy. that in the four wheeler. It's crazy. Which one, the Renegade or the uh, eight fifty? Probably a work four wheeler. A work four wheeler. So you would keep the Outlander. Probably the Honda. Fair enough. I want. Our resale value won't be as great, right. so I might as well just keep that one. Yeah, you know, cool. YouTube so your channel means... crashes. I'm, I'm going on a budget for a while. Say, hey, tell you, mowing business gets big. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I always gotta have a backup. Could could I work for your mowing business? Hundred percent. See, like we could be like all over the all over the country. Right. Like the pressure washing dudes. Have you seen that guy on TikTok? Yeah. He started like in high school. Now he's like a nationwide dude. What do you think about TikTok? I hate TikTok. You, all of it? Like watching it and everything? Absolutely hate it. You don't like the content? I spend too much time on it. That's why I hate it. That's how everybody is. Yep. Yeah. It's so addicting, dude. It's so... It's a drug. It's, it's, it's kind of like... You can get on there and scroll for two hours and be completely content. It, what yeah. It, it, it's stupid. <laughs> it took the place of like the guys building mud houses. Like yes. when you can't sleep, like it took their place. Like, their, that's that's sad, ain't it? Yeah. I really like enjoying watching them make the water slide. They're like, still there. Right? Yeah. I watched that one. That was a good one. That was really cool. Yeah, was. They get a you lot of views, one? don't they? No, not really. That's a lot of work. But wouldn't it be cool? For about a day. Do you think those guys actually build them? I mean, it's the whole time lapse of them building them. That's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Here's what a question I have for those people: Do you think those people own the channel? I don't know because that's another thing. Because they have so much money coming in through that channel. You know, I I don't know. Like unless each they're one like, is like twenty million plus views. Yes. Yeah. No, they got millions stacked up in the bank. So that money, I don't, I don't see how it could go to them, or they'd be like, "I'm overdone. I'm over playing in the mud and building crap." Because yeah. I would be, I would retire of my mud building. Braden, you what? literally play in the mud like as a job. They craft mud. You know how annoying that would be. It all depends. <laughs> it all depends. People have some interesting hobbies. You give me millions of dollars to play in mud, I'll be out there. Do you got what any... if you were worth, like, let's say fifty million? Catch me in the mud if that's all I got to do. Really? If that's all I got to do, really? you bet. You I know like they, they enjoy it though. Do they? I don't know. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. What's your hobbies? Like hobbies, hobbies. Like building houses out of mud. That ain't it. Was your hobbies? It's on YouTube. Yeah. My life is on YouTube. Everything I do, I like hunting hobbies. a lot. Even though is there anything outside of YouTube? Anything outside of women. Okay. That's about it. Let's see. What are my hobbies? I don't think I have hobbies. Yeah, I don't. Sad. I don't no, know. I, I mow the yard I'm, once I'm a week. <laughs> <laughs> you ever used a real mower? I got a zero turn. You got to use a real mower. What what's is a, that? What's a real mower? It's like the thing you see the Amish guys using. It's got like a bunch oh, of blades. Oh, that you push? Oh my gosh. Those yeah. are so cool. Have you ever That's used a, a scythe? money and time, huh? A scythe. What's that? Grim Reaper? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. That's an ankle biter. I Dude, they're quicker than weed eating. Huh? They're quicker than weed really? eating. Really? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Have you saw that? Yeah. We I got a lot of weed together. eating I got to do. Huh? I got a lot I'm of telling weed you, eating. We, if, we had it, if we had the budget, Diesel we'd works. pull it up on our TV. Huh? Diesel works real good at weed eating, too. Grass won't come back. Really? Roundup. That's a good one. But diesel's like quicker to get. Like you go out to your truck, siphon a little bit. There you go. True. True. You want some more fan questions? Yeah, what's next? Why do you have a lampshade as a haircut? Next question, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Larry? Do you guys really want to know? First of all, tell them who Larry is. Larry was a mean old man. Who? Provided heart, a lot of content. He, he provided a lot of content. He had heart problems. <laughs> he won't leave us alone. And everyone wants to know where he went because he, they haven't seen him in five, six years. Well, I don't know if I can say it. Hey. You say it. No, I won't say it. He passed away. Okay. 
It's very sad, though. He it was something to do with uh, his heart, but uh, he wasn't a bad guy. He just <laughs> didn't want you to tear up his grass. Didn't like us. And he, he gave a, us a lot of issues. And, uh, you know, we were in the right. Was like you? 85% of the time. <laughs> Every now and then we weren't because we were irritated, and, you know. On purpose? Huh? On purpose? Julius would irritate him on purpose. <laughs> Julius, Julius, I don't know if you guys know who Julius is, but he was my buddy who used to ride with me at the time. He would ride around. R- he, Julius would ride up and down his driveway because it's Julius's driveway that he lives on. Oh, okay. And so Julius would go up and down the driveway, and Larry couldn't say nothing. Well, as soon as Larry would start, like, getting mad and, like, showing his ass to Julius, Julius would come and get me because he, he knew I had the camera. And so then I would go and, like, boom, instant video, boom, instant video, boom, instant video. And all I had to do was go out there for 20 minutes. It was dumb, dude. That's crazy. We don't have anyone here to aggravate. There's no one lives here. That's good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Overall, my neighbors are starting to get mad at me now, though. My new neighbors. Is that when they like called the cops on you in that one video? Just oh for, yeah. Like, that that's dumb. It's stupid. What happened? I got three cops showed up at my what house. What was you doing that provoked it? Literally riding. Rode over to my parents' house and rode on their property. Are the cops that you're North Carolina bad? Like rough or whatever. I don't know. The state troopers are terrible. The deputies aren't. They're not bad guys. They're pretty good. They're pretty relaxed. This is the state troopers. They are psycho. It's the total opposite here. Really? The state troopers are usually cooler than like the county around here because I guess they just don't have much to do. So when they do get that chance, they like lash out on you. That's pretty. That's interesting. Personal experiences. There's not many. There's per. Here's a good thing. Per mile of road, there's not a lot of cops here. The density's not because there's a lot of very small roads and you can't be everywhere at once. So the roads, you can. I'm not saying that you should go out and do illegal driving or anything, but it's not like if you're, you know. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying actually. I got another fan question. This one's a good one. Who told you a bowl cut was a good idea? Is this the new trend? Your fans are asking. I'm just the messenger. Is this what he was talking about earlier? No, I didn't say nothing about a bowl cut. I said you're Justin Bieber. That would be a whole lot better to be called Bieber than a bowl cut. Next question, please. Okay, let's see. The next question from the fans is... All right. Well, we already done if you could die. So the next one is, do barbers exist where you're from? Next, next question, please. I actually was supposed to get my hair cut today, and I missed it. All right. Come Adam Lay is open. Adam Lay is no, open. Uh-uh. Next question from the fans. Lady. How much Chuck would Chuck? <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Chuck would Chuck would. Okay, next question. Do you like baked potatoes? Uh, yeah, of course. What's your favorite potato? Because there's a lot of way to cook them. Dish, like favorite way to potato eat potatoes. chips. Yeah, you got chips. You got fries, fries. You got tater tots. You got taco fried, potatoes. Fried taters. Those are good. Dude, fried taters are amazing. Do you eat those? Or baked no. taters, like a loaded one. You ever tried the ones from Wendy's with like everything on it? Who the heck gets potatoes at who? A loaded potato from Wendy's. Brayden? Wendy's. Brayden. Wendy's. I'm from Kentucky. Wendy's. Charlotte, dude. Wendy's. It's good. Get oh, Charlotte, mind. dude, let me have a bone to pick with you. The cookout five minutes from your house, disgusting. That's cookout. Oh, okay, well, we're in agreement, then that's fine. I just $6 sh- for a fat, fat plate of food. That's a lot around here, and it better be good for $6. I mean, you spend a dollar less and get a whole Famous Bowl around here. Yeah, and a dollar less and get a whole pizza around here. That's honestly true. It's actually like five thirty-six, but, I mean, it, it's a whole pizza. Little Caesars. Little, Today's sponsor. Do you like Little, little Squealers? Caesars? Is good. Yeah, we used to eat it all the time as kids. Yes, we eat it. I haven't had it we, in a we long still do. time. Budget cuts, you know. Really, dude, yeah. it's good. Christian, I, I'm taking notes from them. Oh, yeah. No, dude. no more smoke pit, my guy. Okay. Listen pit. though, we did last week. We went to a Little Caesars, got a hot and ready. All the pizza was there, but there was no sauce. <laughs> like, really? It, it was. It was. A couple pepperonis, cheese, bread. That's it. Really, and no the sauce. crust was really bad. That the was crust, unfortunate. The that crust was, very was unfortunate. Like, 
this water bottle. Really? Yeah. What, 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 what kind of analogy is that? It, like the cap. I'll take that back. Like it was hard and crunchy. I was like, dude, if the if the if the whatever was like that, I'd be like, dude, that's fluffy. That's good. More like the cap. Okay, that makes more sense. So the last question that they asked was about potatoes. All right. Then the next question was, why did he think can ams are so good if you break it all the time? We are. They already asked that one. Next one was, why was you so fat when you was little? <laughs> Wasn't everyone, though? Like, everyone had, like, baby fat. We're going to let Brayden answer this question. Kendall, you know you're cracking me up. I'm, not, I'm the messenger. I'm you're the messenger. the messenger. Your fans asked. I'm the guy. I they, was very tubby until about 16. Then what happened? This story may inspire somebody. What happened? He's seven foot now. <laughs> Grow out. I got busy. Okay, so that's With good. the channel. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I guess I just kind of grew out of it. Why are you so mean to Miller and Christian by not letting them floor the X3? It's a $30,000 X3. I paid for it. I want to break it. I don't want them to break it. When I was there, you was very specific about don't floor it. Why is that? It's just not made to floor? Not by your foot. Why is that? It'd if, probably if break. It's a it'd probably, it'd probably send it into a tree. If it's a can am the way you talk about it, it shouldn't break by flooring it. Would you would you trust KG in the X three? That would be a no. <laughs> Why? What? I was a good driver. I didn't get over twelve. You got you hit ten miles an hour and that's it. That's good, isn't X3. it? That's good, isn't it? You didn't even build boost. That's that a good did you want to floor it? Because you would have hit a lot more than ten. You would have probably hit a tree. I was at fifty. Respectfully, sixty, seventy. I could have won it. Yeah, you could have if you'd have floored it. It got there real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. Next question: Why don't you get a haircut? <laughs> Hey, I don't like this live audience thing. They're not a part of this. Y'all need to shut up. <laughs> it's the fans, dude. Where's Adam at? I have him cut my hair on the podcast. Okay, we can do that. He's not here, actually. Can, uh, Isn't he on vacation? Yeah. Shoot. Darn. I'll cut it. Yeah. We got scissors. No. We can do it with a KG pocket knife. Really? No. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Next question. All right, that's pretty much it for the fan question. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's we didn't it? want it. We we can probably get more. You know, just like. Do you want me to get more? Four haircut jokes and you know. They weren't jokes. They joke. were legitimate questions <laughs> that your fans are wanting the answer to. <laughs> you want me to find some more fan questions? I still got them. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, you two talk about something. I'll be busy trying to figure out how to figure these out. Do we want them to find more questions? Dude, they're good. I it, feel like we should just like. I think we could go off the hip better. I can tell you right here. I do too. Like, see, Ben Hill even said that we done that better. So. Really? Here's, a, here's a question. The so. most one of the I'd say top three question. Um, can you give me an X three like stuff like that? That's a popular question. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm not even. I Braden wish I Price. had X threes. I'm not even Braden one. Price. I'm gonna say no. Thank you. What's a question that you wish that we asked? Because you, I told you he's coming on the podcast. Was there anything you was like hoping we asked? Because that's a big one. Not really. Not really? No, I just showed up. I was what like, all right, talk let's about do this then? podcast. Hey, Brayden, where's Maddie? Oh, we doing that. <laughs> oh, we're doing that. Yeah. KG, you want to go join ahead. It's your, it's where's Maddie, podcast. KG? I don't know. KG stole her from me. I don't know. Don't start that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch KG, dude. I know, right? He's a ladies' man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, Maddie. She went off to college, and you know things just didn't work out. Um, huh? Good answer. It, she chose the party not. She chose the party life, not the stay-at-home mom life. I gotta give you credit for answering that respect. Is it still a good good answer or no? Still a good answer. Okay. It, it like I give you credit for being respectable toward that. Like you didn't just totally knock her. You just like. I mean, it is what it is. Right. Like, you know. People all have different lifestyles. You know, I have my lifestyle, which is mainly posting YouTube videos. And then, you know. Eating wheelers. Eating wheelers? Yeating. 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 Yeating four wheelers? Wheelers. No, not even. Yeating wheelers. Yeah, not even four wheelers, just wheelers. 
you know, everybody, they, there's a lot of people that like just plan their life out to a T and, you know, sometimes when life's collide, they don't really mix and it, it is what it is. This happened like nine, 10 months ago and you guys are just now finding out about it. It's I've been of, there with you, Braden. I feel, I know what you're saying. <laughs> what, what, what am I saying? <laughs> No, just about like the whole situation about how when life's like meet, they just don't work out sometimes. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, isn't that obvious though? Huh? Shouldn't that be obvious? Like, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm happy. That's all that matters. None, of, none of my words like make sense. None of my. Have you been oh, understanding oh, me? Oh yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, like I don't make sense anymore. I think I'm going downhill fast. I think I am too. It's more than just the views. Like I stutter a lot more too. Yeah, I don't know why. So annoying. I hate it. It's weird though, like, cause like your whole life's on camera, so it's like I'm really happy for the podcast because they're going to get to see how not all together I am, and that's good. Just sitting there holding the AR in his fingertips, yeah, ready to blast. I like it, Kendall. I like it a lot too. I'm I think really you happy said, with it. I, th- I don't know how much I really like the red though. Really? No. I don't think it's meant to, for people to see. I think it's meant for people to uh, not know where it is, and then it's just something that I know that no one right. else does. Cause no, this gun's not going to be used for much it's just in case and if it does in case then no one cares about a red panel and i don't have anywhere else to put it nothing else that's painted red like it's, it's painted it's yeah, yeah like it check like, it out because i was very i ordered a red whenever i ordered a red car- charger handle that's not what i was thinking of i was thinking of like the like red overall color you know what i mean yeah. that's actually paint and that's not a good thing yeah, no, that's trash. Yeah, I mean, it'll work. It's just the paint won't last forever if I shoot it a lot, which I probably won't. But that's okay. That's totally fine. Yeah, totally fine. You probably won't never shoot it anyway, like most no. of your guns. No, I ain't shooting them. Kendall likes to hoard guns just to keep them out of criminals' hands. That's that's the name of the game. Okay. <laughs> it's the name of the game. Okay. <laughs> when did you stop voice cracking? I never stopped. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a late puberty, dude. Probably like seventeen. I don't think you got I have a full stopped. beard. Maybe I have stopped. Huh? You got a beard. Yeah, I grew it out when I was eighteen. Nice. <laughs> then it just like you know. What a podcast! How long do you want to go? That's a good question. Been a doozy, boys. As long as you guys can handle me. What do you want to do? Hey, what do you want to do? Hold on, I got an important. Right, we message. can take a pause. Oh, Ethan Ethan texted me and said, just kidding, you got the hairline. What? That's what you texted me. About a hairline? I didn't know. What What the heck's up on my name? What, where do you get the K from? <laughs> Ethan KG. What? I wasn't going to ask you what your last name was. I was going to put you in as Ethan KG. I mean. KG's your dad, ain't he? No. 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 Wait, what? No. No. I don't know We're my cousins. dad, honestly. Y'all are cousins? Oh, that's yeah. weird. We're from Barville, Yes. No, yeah, we'll cut that out. We're, we're, cousins. we're all cousins. Y'all right? are all cousins. Can I be one of y'all's cousins? You're, if you want to. You're in Kentucky. You're our cousin. Aww. Cousin. You're old man Price's boy. This isn't Alabama, you? boys. Don't get any ideas. It's old man Price's boy right here. That's our cousin. Yeah, that's old Price. That's old Braden. man Price's boy. That's Braden Price tag. Brandon Price tag. Brandon. All right, Kendall, how many kids do you want to have? Well, that's a long way out. Well, you think about a lot of random stuff. Oh, have you I not do. thought about this? Well, I was thinking. This has nothing to do with future plans, but you're definitely not an only child. Yeah, no. You're one of three? Sadly. I mean, okay. gladly. I mean, yeah. Think about this. You have so much money, which people do. You can... You can Me? No, I'm saying like some... as A random individual has so much money. I'm broke. You have the same amount of money to spend whether you want to have three kids or one kid. And so you could have that one kid that can have three times as much if you choose to only have one. Okay. Or you could have like 20 and none of them have not much at all. Yeah. It's just a, it's a balance and you got to figure out which one you want. It's the love want, that counts. I want one boy, one girl. That's if you could choose. Which I have will. A f- like a fear of like trying to have a boy and end up with two girls and then trying to have a boy again and then having another boy or another girl. And having three girls, because I, that's, no. That's not going to be okay. I got to have a little me running around. You don't have to. Oh, yeah, I do. 
hundred percent. Somebody don't you want to be ha- my, taking people legacy. to beauty pageants and stuff? Ain't no. that your alley? Uh uh-uh. uh. Not at all. No. Wow. Uh uh-uh. uh. Not gonna happen. What are you gonna do? Huh? Do you want to have kids? Two. Good answer. Kendall, do you want to have kids? That's a solid answer. I'll just go Two. with it. Oh. Yeah. I want to have a boy and a girl, but if I could have it my way, good Lord willing, the boy would be older to have like an older brother figure in their life. If you get what I'm saying there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. All KG right. is going to go show me some cool stuff. Subscribe if not already. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. Probably going to do another podcast tomorrow night. We can do that. It's 100%. Good. It was good meeting you, Braden. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You got off him tonight or something? What? Off him? <laughs> Am I going to kill him? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that wasn't the plan. Okay, that's good. That's good. Are you looking for the Too AR? Late. Too late. It's not Too under late. the table. No, it's not. It's right here. Dang it. Bye? Braden, I'm not going to hurt you, man. <laughs> I need to watch more X3 videos. Yeah, no. I don't know what this podcast has turned into, but hopefully you enjoyed at least a little bit of it. <laughs> at least it was brutally honest. Inside the brain of Braden Price, I can definitely say that. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all, tomorrow night, y'all are going to get inside the head. Huh? That part came out weird, didn't it? <laughs> tomorrow yeah. night. Tomorrow night. We're going to really knock it out. I'm going to have my sleep. All right? We're going to be ready to go. You're gonna have some good breakfast tomorrow. I just gotta, I just gotta throw that out there. Hundred percent, best biscuits and gravy you'll ever eat in your life. I'm down. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yup. Yup. Bye. I guess. Bye, guys. Right. We'll see you on the next one.